Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be removing green screen or chroma keying in DaVinci Resolve 16. It's going to be a really easy video. It is intended for beginners. So, you know, if you're shooting on a green screen background, you just want to get rid of it. Maybe you're a streamer or whatever. It's going to be a really simple tutorial to follow. And just before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this video and hit the thumbs up button down below and leave a comment for, you know, if you have any future requests for lessons or videos, whatever, down in the comment section, that's where you can hit me up. But let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. It's gonna be really, really easy. So here you can see I have my green screen footage of some chickens. If you know me, you know I love chickens, like my favorite animal. And we're just gonna drag that down onto our timeline, pretty simple. And we're gonna jump across to Fusion. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just rename my media in node. I just do this out of habit now, so I'm just gonna call it chicken. And with the media in node selected, we're gonna hit shift space, which is gonna bring up our tool selector. And we're gonna type in Kia. And you can see here we have a few different options. We've got Chroma Kia, Delta Kia, Ultra Kia, Luma Kia, and more or less do a similar thing, except for the luminance and different Kia. They're all gonna remove a particular color from our image. Now they all work particularly well. The one I like to use is the Delta Kia, but you're gonna get away with using any of them. But we're gonna use the Delta Kia for now. We're just gonna add that there. And all we need to do now is go over to our inspector, grab the eyedropper, click and drag. Don't click it because it doesn't really select the tool. So you've got to click and drag it and then release. And straight away, it's removed the green value from our image. And if we jump back into the edit page, you can see we have our transparent image here. So black is transparent. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at how that Kia works, how to shrink the mask and refine it a bit more. So if you're doing more professional grade stuff, I have got my Fusion course down below. You can check it out. I go into a lot more detail on how the Delta Kia works. But like I said, this tutorial is for beginners. You wanna jump in and quickly remove some green screen footage that you have, this is for you. So next, we just need to put a background. So I'm gonna drag my chicken layer to the top and I've got this image here. I'm gonna just drag below and we're just going to extend it out. Fantastic, and I'm just gonna zoom it in so we don't have the black bars. So next, what we can do is with the chicken layer selected, we could resize it if we wanted to, so we can have it maybe look a little bit more true to life. So we could put it down, like we could put them down there. And then we could probably, you wanna color correct them so that they suit the background. To do that, we can just jump into the color page. And what I'm just gonna do is, just add a bit more contrast, just so that they sort of fit in a little bit better. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of warmth, just a little bit to the image. And that's it guys, like it is super, super easy to do, especially if you just got simple things like this. And then if obviously if we play it through, we've got our chickens pecking away at, well, grass in our image. So there you go guys, that's how you remove a green screen in your footage called Chroma King. Super, super simple to do. And if you wanna in your own time look at all the different parameters in the inspector for the Delta Key, you can, and that's where you're gonna be able to refine that mask, which is good if you've got more complicated footage. So if you've got like a female actor who's moving a hair a lot, that can be quite complicated, or clothing with lots of detail, that's where you're gonna fix that. But for simple shots like this or static shots where say if I had a green screen behind me now, this is gonna work perfectly. So that's it guys, really easy, really simple. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button and yeah, until the next one, see ya.